It's Kathy from To Die House. Today is Saturday, September 29th. One more day of September. We're right into October. So excited. I've had a bit of a rough month, but so I'm really looking forward to October coming. Um, I want to welcome my subscribers back. Uh, if you're new to me, I want to welcome you in. Um, it's been a couple weeks since my last video, and you can see we're in a new location. We are in my craft room and I have a cold so sorry if I sound like you know the creepy breather <laughs> but um, after my last video um, like the next day I came down with this just wicked cold my boyfriend had it a couple days before that um, and it man it knocked me on my butt I mean I was like I didn't want to stitch I didn't want to do anything I I was, I'm, I'm a night owl and I like to stay up late and stitch, but I was like, I was going to bed at 9.30 and waking up at 7.30 the next morning. So that's a, you know, 10 hours of sleep and it still didn't feel like enough. So, um, I'm on the tail end of it now, which is a good thing, but man, you know, I hate that feeling when like, when you want to do things, but you just don't want to do things. So decided to give myself a much needed rest I guess and uh, made it through a couple weeks and made it through my work weeks and my, and work is still crazy so um, I didn't get a whole lot done over the last couple of weeks but I did get some things done and um, can, true confessions of a cross stitcher <clears throat> remember last video when I said oh I'm not gonna start anything new because I want to clean up what's in in my whip pile and lies, lies. I started, but I also finished two things and I'll show you those in a little bit. Um, like I said, we're in my craft room. The reason we're here is because um, it's night and the lighting is better. The kitchen's a mess. My boyfriend um, loves to cook and he made us a really nice dinner, but um, there's cleanup to be done. I'll get to that later. Okay, um, so I wanted to start, of course, with these are the people in your neighborhood. Um, I haven't been watching a lot of Floss Tube, but these are a couple of people that I was able to, to catch, and they're new to me. Uh, the first one is PJ Stitcher. Her name is Pam, and I think she lives in Maryland. Um, really nice lady. The last video she did, she had her grandson and her mother with her which it was just it was really sweet really sweet um her mom is 90 oh my god you would never know you would never know she looks amazing and I can see where Pam gets her sweetness from because her mother is just as sweet and her grandson Eddie was helping them out and he's adorable um he, I think he's like 10 and uh you know, he's like the perfect assistant. I think we all need an Eddie in our life, lives to help us, you know, get through these videos. I would love to have him in one of my videos. He was great. He was great. Um, she is working on some all through the night uh, projects. I saw she had some all through the night things. And she also had some Blackbird. I think some Prairie Schooler. And did I write it down? Work Basket. Yeah, so um, she has some really, really cool projects. And she's a multi-crafter. She's a quite a skilled quilter as well. So um, so go check out Pam at PJ Stitcher. And the next one is Breaks for Stitches. Her name is Patty. She lives on the east coast of Canada in the Newfoundland area, which I'm totally jealous of. I mean, oh, that area is just probably one of the most stunning places on earth. And... Um, she is also a multi-crafter. I believe she knits. Pretty sure it's knitting. Um, and then I think she has an Etsy shop or she's going to have an Etsy shop. I haven't checked it out yet. Um, but she, uh, was saying how she would have some designs in there. So I will link both of them below. Do you like my nails? Look at that. It's 
somebody was painting today. Um, so, <laughs> like the spotted nail. Um, yeah, so I will link them below so you can go check them out at your leisure. Uh, the next thing, speaking of spotted nails and painting, is junk in my trunk. I didn't do any thrifting. I was really, any downtime I had, I barely left the house. I mean, I was, <clears throat> I was down. And, um, um, but I did, since I was feeling better today, I finally felt like I needed to get out. It was probably one of the first days we've had in a while where it was cool and low humidity and sunny. Um, so my boyfriend helped me drag the cabinets out of the garage into the driveway and I primed them and put at least one coat of paint on them. Uh, starting to get dark by the time I was I was finishing up so uh, I don't know if they'll need a second coat and honestly I kind of want to wait until it dries I guess that'll be a better determinant as to whether I'll need a second coat or not but um, but yes yeah, so I'm like oh, I can't wait to get them done I mean I'm at that stage now where I'm like I just want them done I mean, I think next time I do a project like that, I'm going to take a week off. It'll be in the summer and I'll do it start to end in the same week and I'll be done with it because this dragging on and on is killing me. And then my next project after that, and you can see behind me, not the cross stitch, it's already done. But this um, cabinet back here, I had this in my old apartment and this color matched my old decor. Um, but in my craft room, you can see the walls are much lighter. They're kind of like a minty green color so um my next project is to paint this with chalk paint white so that it goes better in here and it's not kind of sticking out like a sore thumb um i still like i said i'm going to that can be a winter project because i can just put drop cloth underneath it it holds my um tv stuff and um, my tv's above it so once i have my cabinets in here my boyfriend gets the top finished um, which we're also going to paint and then we're going to trim it out. So the cabinets are painted. We're going to move them in here and then move the top in here. I'm going to paint the top outside and we'll move it in here. Then he's going to assemble it and like bolt it all together in here. So instead of having to do it all outside and then move it in. Um, the, pa <laughs> the pantry saga has been put on hold for a while. Um, for both of us just, you know, so we can stay sane. And, um... We're really just, he was like, just focus on those cabinets and get them done. And I, I agreed. One of the rare moments where we really, like, I agreed. So, <laughs> um, I'll insert some pictures here. Um, just of, of what I did today. Like I said, prime and paint. Um, the other thing is, um, the little table, or it was like a telephone stand that I did with chalk paint is over here. Oh, look at that mess. Isn't that horrible? Um, is over here now on, in my craft room next to my sewing machine and my serger is on top of it. Um, and also my odd like to give me a little bit better lighting in here but uh but yeah so that's all together and done that's a finished project that's in here um yeah I guess that's about it work has been crazy I've been sick um my favorite home remedy uh courtesy of my grandmother is uh some hot apple cider with a shot of apple jack in it to apples are good for you right so um, I did it. I was able to go out and get a couple of pumpkins right before I got sick. And like, since then I'm done. No decorating. None. Okay. Um, some previous finishes. Uh, these are all coming out now for October. And, um, some of them I finished in the more recent past. Others have been around for a while. This is one that's been around for a while. Um, it's the witch's brew. It's a little witch's brew pillow. And it came kind of all stitched together, and then you stitch on the pillow and sew it up the back. Ooh, cat hair. 
Um, sew it up the back, but isn't that cute? It says, one eye of newt, one wing of bat. Stir it well and add to that. Two toad legs and one scream of fright. Then serve it on one spooky night. Cute, right? <clears throat> like I said, I, I finished that a while ago. But I love it. Like, I pull it out every year and I'm just going to stick it in the corner of a chair in our living room. Uh, this is a new setup for me, so excuse me while I... Excuse my boarding house reach, as my mother would say. You can admire my uh, Raggedy Ann leg. Kind of looks kind of weird sticking out in the back, doesn't it? Um, and also my blackbird singing hanging up on the door there. I'll let grab these. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure who this is. It might be a heart and hand design. Oh, I feel like I'm right on top of you. Um, again, I stitched this a while ago, but I, I didn't have it framed until recently. Uh, the little spooky sampler. I'll have to go back and look and see if you're interested who that's by. Um, and I love this. For Halloween, I have a, you'll find, you'll see a lot of this in the next couple minutes. That that molding is one of my favorites. Um we have been dusty. We need to be dusted off. Um, and then this little like Victorian spooky house. The little bat charm at the top, isn't it cute? And the little cat. Really cute with my fingerprints on that. Um, but yeah, so that little Victorian house. I stitched that probably 10 years ago or more. Uh, this is a shepherd's bush, which you would know it just to even look at it. Um, and the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. Is that what it says? The goblins will get you. If you don't watch out, good memory. The little tie at the top with a staff. I love the molding on this too. It was something, it was a different kind of pick for me. But it was one of those kits that came with the mat. Really cute. Shepherd's Bush. This is also Shepherd's Bush. I don't recall the name of it, but I stitched it a long time ago. It's like a Halloween parade type of thing. Look at his little beak mask. The moon button. I just think in the little witch. A little pumpkin in the middle. The checkered pumpkin. So cute. Um, and I love this border. This satin stitch border with the, I think it's like a, a silk, like a um, water lilies type of thread. Really cute. Um, one of my favorites. I, I did that years and years ago. Um, so these are, <laughs> I gotta find a place to put them. I think this next one is a Lizzie Kate. Um, and sorry for the amateur finishing job, but, um, it's, if the broom fits, fly it. And then I painted this frame and did the little swirlies and things, but you know, this was when I was trying to figure out how to be a finisher on my own. And now that I look at it, I think I might just pop this out and repaint this frame like all black with some orange stripes going across it or orange and purple stripes or orange and green stripes something this looks a little too busy to me so i wish i could go back in time and tell my you know 35 year old self this doesn't look right but i do love the piece it's really cute i get that out every year um this one Ooh. One of my favorites. Um, I think this is the first primitive hair piece I ever, I ever stitched. <clears throat> and it's the Old Salem Broom Company. And I stitched it on her um, Old Salem linen. And I had that magical moment at the bottom when the, where the border matched up and I was thrilled. Thrilled. But again, I use that black, like wood, like molding. But that's, this piece made me fall in love with primitive hair. And I just love it. So I think maybe this will um, take a center, center place in our, on our mantle somewhere. And I'll have to 
find somewhere else to put my other pieces and then I can just put them back over there uh, after Halloween for the remainder of November. And then this one, um, I started after, I think I picked up this chart when I went to the Primitive Hair Retreat in Italy in 2016. Um, and I started it almost immediately after I came back. And it's the Spell Store. And all the shelves. Isn't it cute? Oh, there is some glare in here, isn't there? Little boots and the cat. The broom. That web is all long stitches. So I actually like stitch the, you know, the um, spindles going out and then I wove the web around it and then I tacked it down in certain spots. It looks like it shifted right there. So I'm going to have to see if I can get in there maybe somehow and straighten that back out. But um, I love it. Things you look forward to every year, you know, and I mean, it's one of the beauties of stitching is that, you know, when you have these pieces, it's not like it's just done. It's, you get to admire them and enjoy them for as long as you have them. So, um, I think that's a wonderful thing. Also, I did want to make uh, a quick correction. I don't have the piece here with me. It's downstairs on the mantle, but, um, last video I showed you two framed pieces. The first one I showed you was the drawn thread piece, but the second one with the little scarecrow at the top, that was a shepherd's bush piece. And I went and looked at the, I went and looked it up. Somebody um, commented on my video that that was shepherd's bush. And thank you so much for doing that because I really, um, I'm one of those people, I'd like to give the designers the credit that they deserve. And um, so I wanted to make sure that I made that correction so that you knew that it was shepherd's bush, but it was called Apple kissed autumn and it's like a it's a long narrow sampler with the scarecrow at the top and the baskets of apples and rows of crows and um, So yeah, so um, I want to thank the person who, who uh, brought that to my attention. I really Appreciate being given the opportunity to make that that correction for you. Oh, you know um, I got my hair colored <clears throat> And um, I went a little darker. I like to go a little darker with my hair in autumn. Um, I had to wash this two or three times to get it to come up. It was it was dark. <laughs> my boyfriend was like, oh, are you going to do the Morticia Adams thing? Are you going goth on me? Like, what's happening? And I said, well, it has to be dark because reds fade out really, red hair color fades out really fast. And two or three washes and it'll be a pretty copper color. And I, now I love the color. So, um... Yeah, I found a hairdresser. I mean, you know that I moved to this area in January. I think one of the one of the dilemmas everybody goes through is like you have to find a hairdresser and new doctors. And, but for me, like the hairdresser was the thing. And I went to one person, and I wasn't thrilled. And then I went to um, I, a person I went to high school with. I I'm friends with on Facebook, and I was like, who do you go to? Because your hair always looks so nice. And she referred me to somebody locally, and I'm thrilled. She's I've gone to her twice now, and she's done a beautiful job both times. And I'm getting hoarse. Sorry. I also kind of like, I talk louder when I do these videos because I want to make sure that you hear me. So I start to lose my voice quicker, I think. Okay. Um, whips. Actually here, let me do my confessions. Um, these are, these are finishes, um, started and finished. I did them because I was sick, but I wanted to stitch and I needed something that wasn't like so intensive that I had to focus too, too much. Um, so the first thing I did was, uh, this is Little House Needleworks Autumn Spice. And it came, uh, here's the chart. And I showed this uh, to you previously. Um, it came with the chart and then it came with uh, the three released flosses. So it was one of those uh, releases from, from Little House. Um, so I grabbed this and didn't iron it yet, obviously. But Autumn Spice. <laughs> I'm looking at my manicure and I'm like, holy, holy moly. <clears throat> Gotta redo that. Um, and then the second one that I worked on. 
same I chose the same fabric. A friend of mine who I met uh, at the Primitive Hair Italy retreat and I'm friends with now on Facebook. Her name is Beth. Um, I saw that she had done it and so that inspired me to, to pull mine out and get mine done as well. And it's the uh, Ye Old Crow Sampler. And this is on this fabric and the one for Autumn Spice is they're both done on uh, Silk Weavers. It's by Zweigert. Zweigert Fabric. Silk Weaver. 36 count in Autumn. So... And I just finished this up. You know, I lost one of these buttons between like the, the cushion and the couch. And it was like 1030 at night. And I was like, damn it, I have one button to, sh to sew on and I can't find it. And I'm like crawling and I can't find it underneath the couch. And I was like, it'll just wait till the morning and I'll tip the couch forward. I'm sure it's down there somewhere. And just as I was pulling the couch out to, to tip it, um, I saw it lying on the floor. So... Got lucky there where I didn't have to, you know, have to turn over the couch. Because our couch is heavy. Like it reclines on either end, which makes it like two built-in recliners. The sucker's heavy. Um, and there's the chart. Heart and hand. Ye old crow. So those are my two starts and finishes. Um, and now my whips. I didn't get, uh, again, I didn't get a lot done. Um, I did work on just very briefly the, um, tis the season stitch along on this guy <clears throat> and this is where I'm at. So this is where I'm at, like I said. I think I've only added in a couple leaves. I started to add in um, the white there and I added in those uh, golden color holly leaves. Um, I think the last time I showed this to you, I was telling you that I was off by two stitches and decided that I could probably make it work without having to go back and tear it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll make it uniquely mine, right? Isn't that what we say? Um, so that's Tis the Season. I'm going to work on that more tomorrow, I think, for like a Santa Sunday type of thing. Um, something I wanted to start, I just, I didn't get to start it, um, is the uh, Halloween is in the air. But I did, um, and I think I had said previously, I, I had it kitted up and I just wanted to show you the fabric that I chose is Weigart. Um, it's also a silk weaver fabric in 36 count. I think it's 36. I wrote it down. <clears throat> 36 count. Um, and it's called Heritage. Now it's looking really washed out here because I have a ton of light on. But... Um, I wanted to use this. It's I love when you get those model here. Let's see if I can block the light a little bit. It's a little closer. Um, I love the modeling in it, and um, and I cut the section in such a way that the parts where I want to fall in the lighter parts of the modeling, I think it'll work out. So, um, and then here is here are the flosses with that. You know, one of the colors I never used before is this Gentle Arts Tomato. Right? Yep, tomato. Isn't that a cool color? And since the fabric has a little green to it, I think those colors will really pop on it. So um, I kind of vacillated and kind of went back and forth about should I use a greenish tone? Should I use another color? Should I, you know, use like a, just a regular like, I was looking at like the um, Edinburgh Legacy Linen, you know, but I just, the green just kind of caught my eye. So I'm hoping when I stitch it up, it looks as nice as I, I think it's going to look. <clears throat> so, um, it's, oh, I gotta get that started because I really love it. And it is still, it's still calling. So I need to 
to give it its attention, I think. Um, yeah. And then um, another um, with the um, Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio. I didn't get much done on this at all. Um, in fact, I was working on this when I kind of started to feel not so hot. So, um, but I did get this motif fully in and then I just kind of, I kind of stopped. So, um, I don't know. I heard a lot of people are doing, um, the Darktober themed, uh, October stitching. And, you know, I thought about doing that, um, but then I feel like my tis the season will get neglected. And I've been neglecting it anyway. So, I'm not sure I want to do that. Although I love the idea of doing like all Halloween stuff through October. Like, I mean, I guess I could pick up my tis the season again, like November 1st, right? Or 2nd. Um... And the reason I say that is because I'm going to the Primitive Hair Retreat in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, the last week of October. So, um, that's going to be so fun. We're going to Salem for the day, for one day. Um, I think one night there's a, like a Sleepy Hollow experience that some of us bought tickets to. Um, I actually haven't bought my ticket yet. I have to get on that. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be fun. So that's like, starts on a Saturday and ends on a Thursday. So I'll have that Friday off. So maybe I'll do a video of that Friday. Um, man, it's like personal space cap. Um, I did, I did um, pull out. I just wanted to show you because I was talking in my last video about the size of the DMC cones. Look at that. It's the size of my head. Almost. My head's a little bigger. But isn't that amazing how ginormous that is? Like, holy. Oh, Hey, if anybody needs some DMC 310, let me know. I'll cut off some and send it out to you. Um, okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. FFOs, finishes. Um, I don't have any, any FFOs this week. I just have the FOs. Um, I have a little bit of haul here. And um, this is something I normally don't share with you guys um, or gals or with you all. Um, but I just thought these colors were so beautiful. I got the, um, the Jabco Button of the Month Dream Collection. Um, I'm on the monthly, the monthly subscription um, for these buttons, but I just thought the colors were so beautiful. And it, it comes with or you can go out online and download the patterns to make these adorable little pin cushions with the buttons. And um, I just, I just had to pull them out and show you, show them to you because I just, they're so gorgeous. And the little butterfly buttons and spells out dream. Little bees. Oh, speaking of bees, our bee issue is resolved. Um, it wasn't the way I wanted it resolved, but... We ended up having to, um, we didn't call an exterminator in. We just, we bought some stuff at the store and started spraying around the floodlight and eventually they dissipated. I mean, took a few days, but, um, I didn't want to use chemicals. I kind of was hoping we could help one of those people. I'm like, don't tear down the nest, you know, relocate the nest, but don't destroy it. it just one of those people. And, um, but it was get it was getting out of control and I had gotten stung and I didn't want to get stung again. So, um, and then the animals, I caught the dog one day kind of snapping at one and I just, I was starting to get scared for, I didn't want anybody to get hurt. So, um, yeah, B situation, check. Okay. So a um, few things I picked up, I did pick up from, uh, Beth Twist from Heartstring Samplery, the, um, you had me at pumpkin spice, which I thought was really cute. And I think what I'm going to do, last video I showed you, did I show you? I don't know if I showed you or not. Becky from Stitch and Hutch. Um, she has this little orange, it's about, 
about the length of the DMC cone. And it's an orange uh, metal wagon with a little handle on it and like these really big round wheels. It's really cute. I was in Rite Aid getting cold medicine and they had it on sale. So I picked it up and I think what I'm going to do is stitch a bunch of these. I have the Autumn Spice and the Yield Crow. I think I'll do another one. Um, and maybe grab a couple of other little doohickeys and put them in that wagon and when I'm and I've got that together, I'll... Oh my goodness. Sorry. Um, I'll put them in the wagon and I'll show it to you. Um, I did get my... The last in the series. The Little House. Farmhouse Christmas. Blah, blah, black sheep. Oh my God. I really love it. So much. And, um, uh, a little chicken on the fence. But I gotta tell you, I mean, in my family, I'm known as the black sheep. And I am. Uh, it's, it's a label I proudly wear. Um, I'm nothing like my sisters, personality-wise. And, um, you know, they're very kind of quiet and very reserved and I'm more gregarious and outgoing and I'm always like you know in the middle of the thick of things usually or I try to be or I want to be or I mean sometimes I'll sit back and observe and and I enjoy those moments as well but um but my sisters are kind of like they're just they're homebodies you know I'm a little more social than they are so um so that when they introduce me to people that I don't know. They're like, this is my sister Kathy. She's the black sheep of the family. And I always say, yes, I am. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, onward. Uh, keeping in the theme of pillows in the wagon, um, I did pick up the Heartstring Samplery Festive Little Fobs Harvest Edition. Look at the little turkey. When I saw Beth show these, and I'm like, these little strawberries and the little mini drums, how cute, right? So I'll probably do that little turkey and the little um, plants in the middle. The little Look at the little pumpkin coming out of the planter. Oh, I love it. So cute. Um, this one I picked up. I have something similar. I have a similar one that's a drawn thread. Um, but it's Jardine Privé uh, Halloween. I think this was McKenna inspired <laughs> because of the, the skeleton. So cute. I just thought it was really a very, very sweet design. Really cute. And I think what I might do is stitch that skeleton in uh, glow-in-the-dark thread. But look at the little witch's hat and the pumpkin. and Adorable. Um, and then, you know, there are some things when you see them, you're like, my God, I just, I have to. Um, the first one, I'm collecting this series. So I was happy that she came out with another one. It's the Noah's Christmas Ark 5, and it's uh, hyenas and sheep. But I would like to do, I don't know what they're called. If any of you know what they're called, they're like, um, they're like a wooden Christmas tree. So there's a wooden pole going up, and then there are wooden um, rods coming out from it that make a Christmas tree shape. And I would like to find one or make, have my boyfriend make one. He probably could. Um, and then do those and have them hanging on that tree somewhere. Um, so they're just sort of like they're in their own special place. Although I don't know how many, this is five and I have the prior four. Um, so I don't know how many, <laughs> how many she's going to do. So I don't know what size tree I'll need. That's a dilemma. I'll make it work. Um, this is Crone on the Hill, Plum Street. Love. That house, to me, with the gables at the top. Is that, are they called gables? It's almost like a widow's walk type of thing. Look at that. Love it. Um, Eat Crow. This made me laugh. And I kind of, like, I really want to do it. It's really cute. A little buzzer on the pumpkin. Oh! And look at those flowers. Aren't they beautiful? I'm thinking for these orange flowers. Um, I have that fallen leaves color. 
that I think would be great for those. Uh, Buzz Off, again. Crow with the crown on the skep. Hysterical. Love it. Uh, and then this is a With Thy Needle. What's this called? Field Mouse Hollow. I just thought they were sweet. The girls. In the witches. Look at that. Oh, let's see if I can get the... Cut the glare down for you. Yeah. Um, but they're in the witches shoe. Isn't that a sweet? Love it. Uh, and then I did pick up um, the Kathy, and now I know how to say her name, Hoberman. Latest drum. Put on the hat. I actually kind of put this aside because I think I'm going to do this sooner rather than later. Um, and I did pick up um, uh, the hands-on design uh, collaboration with Priscilla. I... The Buffalo Checked Autumn just, it sold me. I'm going to do the little one with the blue pumpkins and the orange I, when I saw that, I was like, I don't think I've ever seen lettering that I love that much before. before. So, um, I did pick up Kathy Barrett, the Kathy Barrick Little Robins, and it says... In frost and snow, when the winds do blow, little robins do whistle and sing. <clears throat> of all the birds, they are the best, with their pretty red breast, and their music does make the woods ring. So, love me some robins. Beautiful eggs in the nest. And I was thinking about the robins that were out in our cherry tree, which has cherries now, by the way. It's fall. Isn't our cherries a summer fruit? That tree, that tree is just doing its own thing. So, <laughs> it's very fitting for us. So, no wonder we have that tree. Um, and then I picked up this My Big Toe. Another coffee sampler. I love you more than coffee. Just not... I love you more than coffee. Just not always before coffee. Um... Kind of the way things are around here. It's like, yeah, until we have our cup of coffee in the morning, neither one of us is exactly a happy camper. So, um, and then just a couple of little doodaddy things. Uh, these are punch needle patterns that I picked up because I want to make some uh, gifts, um, and they're fast. And I got this little, isn't he cute, the little snowman? Briar, call it Briar Cottage. Studios, and this is called Candlelight. And then I got this to make for my um, boyfriend's sister-in-law. I guess she's kind of like my pseudo sister-in-law. She loves frogs. Amy loves toads. She's just like you. She loves toads and frogs. And I thought that that was really cute. Also Briar Cottage, and it's called Ribbit. And I'm glad it doesn't say Ribbit. So I think I'll make that and just put, mount it on a box or something for her. Um, let's see. Oh, this was a freebie I found on Facebook. Um, so if you go out to Stone Street Studios, I liked sort of the vintage feel of that. And um, I saw, I think it was Pam uh, for ju from Just Keep Stitching. Also um, downloaded it. It's called Tree Lot. And... She was talking about maybe like changing up the colors. I, and I've thought about that too, but I also kind of like that vintagey, vintagey red. What would you do if you, if you wanted to do that? Um, this one, oh, I can show you the picture. It's just a little Halloween biscornu. I never thought about mounting them on the top of a box like that. And this is by Janie Hubble designs. I don't think this was a freebie. I think this was one that I oh, maybe it was. Maybe it was a freebie. I don't remember. Hmm. This was not a freebie. This one I did. <laughs> this one I paid for. Um, but you know, Primitive Hair has some of her new designs out. 
And I fell in love with this one. The North Pole with the signs pointing. One sign goes to North Pole. Other sign goes to Reindeer Barn, Santa Shop, Sleigh Parking, and Candy Cane Street. And I do have that snowflake fabric. Can you see that fabric? So I do have that, that snowflake fabric. Um, I purchased that from her a while back and it's been in my stash waiting for something and I found it. Uh, and then the other thing, and I saw um, Julie from um, Gulf Coast Stitches was, was talking about this today. And I feel the same way about this one, Julie, is uh, the pumpkin pie recipe. Also primitive hair. So I picked that up. This is going to be hard to see. Um, it was a freebie online. It's um, white pumpkins. You can kind of see pumpkin there. And there's a pumpkin there. Um, and I think that is about... Yep, that's it. Not bad. Um... Yeah, and you know, around this time of year, if you're on Facebook, especially going into the holidays, a lot of the designers, just out of the, the kindness and the generosity of the heart, and um, it's a thank you for us supporting them throughout the year, will um, send out freebies for you to download. So um, that's something to keep an eye out for in the next couple months. Um, a couple of things. I, since I... I started and finished this. I'm going to um, pass the stash on this. So if anyone wants this, I'm going to do a random number generator. If so, if anybody wants a uh, heart and hand, yield crow, just stay. I'd like to stitch the crow in the comments below. Um, I'm also going to uh, send out the autumn spice. Now I, I've already used the floss, so that doesn't come with it, but it's a cute little fast, fast chart, and um, so if you would like to stitch Autumn Spice, say I'd like to stitch Autumn Spice in a comment below, and um, you can, you know, you can enter for all of them if you want. Um, and then the final thing, and I talked about her before uh, in a prior video, Rochelle from The Cottage Needle. I know... Um, if you watch uh, Cheryl McKinney over at Tranquil Stitches, they're doing a stitch along right now with a really cute chart. Um, but um, I, Rochelle is just, and I'll say it again, she's one of those people I love buying from her. She takes care of the people who, who buy from her and um, just, she's so sweet and so gracious and so kind and so generous and um, she had, I had ordered those festive little fobs, the harvest edition. Uh, when I received my order, I received um, the festive little fobs summer garden edition. And I already had it. Um, and it, I'm sure it was just a case of, you know, accidentally pulling the wrong one. And they do, the packaging looks similar. So it was probably, you know, just an easy mistake to make. Um, but when I contacted her and I said, look, I'll send it back to you and send me out the harvest one when you get this one back. Um, you know, I'll just do an exchange. And um, she said, no, no. <laughs> In typical Rochelle fashion, no, I'll send you the harvest one and keep the extra copy um, to give way to one of your stitchy friends. So I thought, well, you're all my stitchy friends. And... So I decided that, you know, I will pass this on to one of you. So if you would like to, um, to receive this, um, you can just say, you know, I'd like to stitch the summer garden. And it really is. It's a bunch of little designs. There's a little crow over here. The peas, the watering can. I think the carrots. Broccoli cauliflower um so um i think that might be corn um 
So even if you're not going to stitch it right away, you know, if you want to keep it in your stash and then in the middle of a long cold winter, you're like, I need a, a taste of summer and I need some fresh veggies, you can pull one of these out and then they're sweet, small, fast stitches. Um, but Rochelle, I wanted to, to just extend my thanks to you for, for letting me hang on to this and pass it on to someone. So, um, so the three choices, you can enter one or all three, must be a teen or older, must be a subscriber. Um, if you win for one and you've entered for others, you can only win once. Um, so we can share the love a little, a little wider, right? Uh, so, um, I'd like to stitch Summer Garden. I'd like to stitch the old crow or the crow, or I'd like to stitch autumn spice. So, um, so yeah, so just, you know, put that in your comment and I'll leave it open. I'll probably do a video sooner than a couple of weeks. So, um, today's the 29th. I don't have my phone here for my calendar. So I will leave it open until October. I'll leave it open until 1010. How's that? So that's 10 days. Well, plus 12 days. So I'll leave it open 12 days. Um, so I'll leave it open until 1010, midnight Eastern time. And after that, I'll close it down and I'll do a random number generator. And um, and then we'll get these out to you. And you can add a little, a little something to your stash. I think I'm gonna be doing more of this actually passing the stash. Um, I have a stack of things. Some, some charts I will definitely hang on to, but others I'm like, you know what? I want somebody else to enjoy doing this too. So, um, well, let me, let me rephrase that. I want everybody to enjoy doing all the things that they enjoy doing. It's just that some charts mean something to me. Like I have a, a drawn thread that's out of print that I'll never get rid of. The thing is so beaten up. I should probably go have it laminated, but, um, but like that's one I'll hang on to, but um, but I'm really start I'm starting to think you know, these deserve to be um, to to be loved by other people too, and again Rochelle, thank you for this. So, um, apologies for the the hoarseness you could tell, getting to the end of my voice. Um, I hope you have. I, well, first I want to thank you for coming by and spending your time with me, as always. Um, I really do appreciate it and. Um, I so enjoy spending time with you and reading your comments and um, getting your, your tips and, um, you know, it's just, it's so nice to have that, that kind of interaction and you do, you mean the world to me. Um, I hope you have a great couple of weeks. Happy October on Monday. Uh, so long September and um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Until then, take care. Peace.